Nisa has obtained a second interdict against protesting employees and students. University workers backed by the EFF Student Command are demonstrating against outsourcing. Unisa says staff members have been intimidated and property has been damaged. The university spokesperson, Martin Ramutsela, joins us on the line now. Martin, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for your time. Just explain to us in detail what prompted you to go to court and get a second interdict. Look, first and foremost, I think it's important to clarify that uh, as a university, we have been providing a space uh, for for those people who are currently pro protesting around the issue of insourcing to really express their views they want to protest to do so freely. And we've been saying as management, as long as they, they, they exercise their democratic right, not infringing the rights of others, we will not have a problem with that. And we've also opened the door for engagement on the issues. But what really disturbed us on Friday was when this situation now degenerated into acts of intimidation, where they were removing people force, forcefully from their offices, including visitors to UNISA, where we've seen violent behavior on their part, which included the damage of property, yeah, including vehicles and a building of the university. We could not then sit by and watch this act of intimidation and, and violent behavior continue. So we are forced by circumstances as a university to go and seek an interdict against them. And this we are doing in order to protect both our property as a university, but to also safeguard the lives of our staff and other visitors to UNISA campuses. Uh, but Martin, what makes you think a second interdict will work when the first one wasn't that successful in the first place? Look, I think first and foremost it must be made clear that uh, the first interdict was actually applied successfully. It was only when the parties met and found one another in terms of the issues on the table, uh, because it was an interim interdict, that we were able to say they can come back onto campus so that we continue to talk. And also, one must also uh, uh, put it on record that with the first interdict, we did not encounter problems such as uh, malicious damage to property and, and, and acute in intimidation of people. But this second interdict, we have made sure that uh, the police are going to be able to enforce it. We have made sure that it is theft on the people that it's supposed to be theft on. And as a university, we will make it our duty and our business to ensure that it is enforced if anybody dares to violate it. Uh, firstly, Martin, who has it been served on? Look, generally the leadership of the EFF Student Command, the leadership of uh, the, uh, uh, the Academic and Professional Staff Association, and anybody else who is part of the protest related to insourcing at UNISA. And, and how, uh, sorry, sorry if I might come in there because we're running out of time, yes, how exactly in terms of policing do you implement this interdict? Look, the, the, the police are here at our campuses. They arrive every morning to monitor the situation. Are these public order police? Yes, public order police are here. They are assisting us in terms of ensuring that uh, law, and, law and order prevails. Uh, they are here to ensure that uh, the protesters are well behaved. And we can confirm that uh, since this morning, uh, since they arrived, there has not been any incidents whatsoever because of the presence of the police, and we're grateful for that. And, and Martin, on Friday, were they in attendance when that violence? Violence took place. On, on Friday, when the violence took place, the police were not in attendance. Uh, the police arrived just after two of the incidents had taken place, which was the damage of one vehicle as well as the touching of a UNISA vehicle. And later, when we dispersed uh, in the evening, that's when they touched uh, one of our buildings, and it was in the absence of the police. But, but Martin, how sustainable is this? You can't indefinitely have public order policing stationed at your university ad infinitum. Surely there, there needs to be some sort of solution release, uh, reached so that you, you simply don't have to, to use uh, public order policing on a long-term basis. Of course, you are correct. We're not intending to use this on a long-term basis. As I've said, we're using this purely to ensure that during this period where they're embarking on this protest, uh, they are not in a position where they can continue to intimidate people, where they can cause more damage to property. But we have not set back and only enforced the, the court order. The, the, the channels of communication remain open with the university, and we're hoping that as soon as we get them back to the negotiation table, we will continue to engage so that we find finality to this matter. Are you, are you dealing particularly with the EFF's student command, or are you talking to the party and its leaders in general? Look, we, we, we are dealing with a variety of stakeholders 
who are part of the multi-stakeholder task team that has been tasked by our council to look into the issue of insourcing. Amongst those is the EFF student command and other student uh, representative bodies. Amongst those is NEHAO, the labor union, as well as APSA, the, the, the staff association. And we also have other organizations such as Show Black Forum and so on. So it's a multi-stakeholder kind of setup that we have in the task team. And that is where the issues are being ironed out. Martin Ramutsela, Unisa spokesperson, thank you for your time this afternoon. My pleasure.